24-year-old Hope Gardens resident DeAnton Burrows is behind bars tonight, awaiting trial for allegedly killing 35-year-old Sherrick Roll back on November 25th. Roll was reportedly at Junkanoo practice on Saxon's Way, Mason's Edition, when he was approached by a male wearing a brown hooded jacket, armed with a handgun who shot him multiple times. Roll died from his injuries in hospital. Burrows was also charged with possession of an unlicensed 9mm Glock pistol. He was not required to plead to either charge. A voluntary bill of indictment will be filed. The case has been adjourned to February 23rd of next year. Police have charged 39-year-old Gilbert Roll with the attempted murder of Dramico Glinton two days ago. It's alleged that on Wednesday, December 21st, Roll, a resident of number 16 Surville Avenue, South Beach Estates, tried to cause Glinton's death. Roll reportedly chopped Glinton about the body following a domestic dispute. Prosecutors say Glinton is still detained in serious condition in hospital. In court today, Roll's attorney requested an early date for trial, stating that he was attacked by the victim. He also indicated that after Roll reported the incident to police, they uh, locked him up and a short time later charged him with attempted murder. The case has been adjourned to the 9th of January. 25-year-old Swenda Forbes and 18-year-old Laurencia Neely were granted bail today after pleading not guilty to a laundry list of charges. Neely, a resident of Ferguson Street, Fox Hill Road, pleaded not guilty to disorderly behavior, using obscene language, resisting arrest, and threatening to kill Chief Inspector Simmons while at the Central Police Station yesterday. Neely admitted that she assaulted Chief Inspector Simmons. Meantime, Neely's alleged co-accused, Swenda Forbes, denied that she acted in a disorderly in a disorderly way or used obscene language to the annoyance of Chief Inspector Simmons. Forbes was granted $2,000 bail with one surety, while Neely was granted $3,000 bail with one surety. The prosecution also dropped the threats of death charge against Neely. The pair returns to court on May 14th.